What up, what up? It's your boy, Ice Cold Crusher. And to my right, you got your boy, Mid Tier Magic. You already know I'm in the building. It's we 2019. In we in this thing. You already know. And so we got we got a couple of speculations about a Mortal Kombat Lim. 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 <laughs> So for, first thing we gonna hit up is uh, of course the, the story. What what are, you, what are some of the speculations you got about the story? The speculations I got about the story. Okay, man, I'm thinking that it, it's like a time traveling thing going on here, or or some kind of such. Because I believe like the scorpions that we got, we believe we got two different scorpions. Um, as you know, like after Armageddon, the game changed up. Mm -hmm. All right. So my speculation is here. So you got Scorpion, you got Scorpion fighting a Raiden, and that Scorpion dies. But with that Scorpion, you know, you see him without the mask, right? And that's mm -hmm. the only time you, that Scorpion, I believe his name is Kasashi. Mm -hmm. So that Scorpion, that's the one you see without the mask all the time that you play with in MKX. The one who had a story, the one that was like a human, the, the, the humane Scorpion. The one that had a background and a voice and a character. The one that had morals. The one that had morals. <laughs> the one that cared about the world. Because he was yeah. like, he was low-key trying to save the world. Kind of. Well, he had his own motivation, but he was trying to do the right thing. He wasn't like, you know, when Sonya and them got in his way, he didn't kill him. He was like, move out of my way. You know, he wasn't killing everybody that was in his way, just like the old Scorpion we know. Mm -hmm. Which is the one that comes in and kills Raiden. I mean, because that Scorpion didn't care. That Scorpion was evil, so to speak. And so, I mean, you know. Because it ain't like he walked in and, like, asked what was going on. He just came in and just... He didn't just, say nothing. He, he didn't say anything. He just killed him. Power, power, time, power. But, but now that I think yours. about it, but, like, now that I think about that part, like, why? Is he killing him? Did he witness himself get killed by Raiden and he came back and killed Raiden? Is that a scorpion from the future that knows that this Raiden needs to die? And so he comes back and kill him because after Armageddon, mm -hmm. the scorpion that we got in Mortal Kombat 9 and 10, that scorpion was killed by Raiden just now in the trailer. Mm -hmm. And then we get the classic scorpion that was up into Armageddon that comes in and kills Raiden. So... Maybe or maybe not that this is a third timeline. It's either a third timeline or they are combining the two timelines before Armageddon and post Armageddon. Yeah, I think that's more so what it is. I think the what the trailer more so shows is just what's going to happen to the game. It's not an, an exact interpretation. That's probably not how Raiden's going to die. But I really feel like it's more so showing that there's going to be a time aspect in this game. So I really feel like they're gonna merge the the past Mortal Kombat's with this new Mortal Kombat, as of course you see with at the end of the trailer you have that um, Elder God, who I'm calling um, Amber Rose right now. Amber Rose. <laughs> Amber Rose right now. The Elder God. <laughs> the Elder God Amber Rose. So you you see time moving moving backwards. So I really personally feel like she she might be the final boss possibly in the game. I think Raiden might be like a, a mid-game boss or something like that. Mm. But I think she's going to be the, the main the main boss, the person that's really pulling the strings behind, behind all this. So what we know right now is we have a time god, pretty mm -hmm. much a time elder god. Which is dangerous. Right. Time Lord is always dangerous. <laughs> I thought she was calling her dangerous for a minute. I was like, what happened to Amber Rose? But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but, so yeah we got a thunder god, elder god, Raiden, and then we have a time god, Amber Rose, Elder God. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that would make for a lot of good single player content, actually, just because we have a back in time mm -hmm. traveling kind of aspect going on. Like, I'd they be interested on how they they're going to tell the story. They could do anything with this, as a matter Pretty of fact. Much, yeah. anybody, could be, anybody could be in this game because mm -hmm. there's a time factor in it. Anybody could be in this game. So you, you know, you guys out there who have your favorite character that's that they're not talked about right now, they're not shown right now. It's still hope. It's hope for anybody mm -hmm. in this game because there's time. As soon as you t throw a time mechanism into any kind of story, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. We, we know that damn well with uh, X Men. <laughs> X Men. You seen the Flash? Flashpoint. Oh, oh yeah. He's yeah, going absolutely. back, changing everything, bringing his mama back to life. Made Batman's daddy Batman. Made Batman's mama the Joker like he he could do anything. Mm -hmm. now, so 
Now, here's the thing. I don't think um, Shao Kahn is... Uh, yeah, he's going to be in the game, but I feel like they're going to do him like they did Darkseid and Injustice. Since he's like a, he's just like a DLC character. Well, he's pre-ordered DLC, so he's not. Yeah. He he comes right off the back. If you get the yeah, game, that was dark. That was Dark Side too. That was Dark Side too. Dark Side was pre-ordered. DLC? Yeah, he was pre he was pre-ordered DLC. You have to pre-order the game to unlock him. So, I mean, that that's why I say that he's gonna basically take up that mantle. He's not gonna really be part of the main story like that. Mm. So Shao Kahn. <clears throat> so we get we got a screenshot mm -hmm. of Shao Kahn. And later on, I believe we got another screenshot of Shao Kahn, and he looks a little different. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? Why do you think that we have two different images of Shao Kahn? Um, that actually raises the point. I'm listening two to different, different Shao Kahns now. Two yeah, different costumes. Well, two different costumes, rather. But you know what? Now that you thought about it, it made me think about it. Mm-hmm. You think he's gonna be? The, you think the, it might be two time different Shao Kahn's? Yeah, and I not, was thinking of that. And I was not, okay, yeah, I was yeah. thinking of that because because the thing is, at the end we do see him with like a Baraka style arm, so it's just like, hmm, in um the Pre in, Armageddon Shao Kahn, post then, Armageddon then Shao Kahn, yeah, 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 or like um after aftermath of. Uh, MK, MK9, of course, in MKX, you see in Quan Chi's layer. Because in MK9. Yeah, and you see in MKX, you see in Quan Chi's layer that there's a figure in, in the middle of the stage. People were, of course, speculating that was Shao Kahn. Maybe he used some cells. Thank you for regenerating yeah, Shao Kahn. Yeah, he's regenerating. He was regenerating Shao Kahn. So he was he did, using a he mix of Baraka cells other, and everything. Other fighters. Yeah, yeah. Now, the only thing, the only way that will work out for me, man. Is the only way they can play that into the story is because you know, um, Jax came to confront Quan Chi. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Beat the brakes off of. Him. <laughs> right. Literally beat the brakes off. He beat him. the brakes off of Quan Chi. <laughs> Literally. Okay? But you know they eventually end up leaving that lair. Quan Chi does die. But here's my thing: when Quan Chi dies, does all his spells reverse? Because I don't, I don't think because so. That, I think everything is set in stone. Really? So whatever he's done mm -hmm. is done. Even when he dies, it's done. Yeah. So let's say that after they left that lair, that that figure that was being, you know, revived or whatnot, if it is Shao Kahn, let's let's just say like before Quan Chi died, that's that spell finished, maybe. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And you know, maybe he just, you know, went out somewhere to kinda like recover himself. So Shao Kahn, maybe, is getting billed. He gets completely billed before Quan Chi dies or whatever, whatnot. And, you know, that's how he comes back. That's That, that could be the post-Armageddon Shao Kahn. That's if that is what Quan Chi was doing. But was Quan Chi even loyal? I don't even know the relationship between Quan Chi and Shao Kahn. I think like Quan that. Chi was, I think he was loyal to... Uh, I think he I was think a he was. whole different thing. I think well, he, no, was he was like a was, brotherhood of Shadow. Kind yeah, of thing. but he was. I think he still was loyal to Shao Kahn. He was in the, in the end. Yeah. Well, I, Quan Chi. I don't really think he was loyal to anybody. Really, I mean, I but yeah, honestly, yeah, he. You can say that, but I, I think with his motivations of MKX, he. he I think he was slightly determined to bring back Shao Kahn. I think. I think. He or really he was, was just being Shadow's puppet. I mean, I mean, he he kind of slick was in in MKX, but uh, Shinnok ended up killing him. What anyway? Uh, I think it was Shinnok who killed him, if I can remember right. Quan Chi. Yeah, yeah, I think. I think Scorpion Shinnok. killed Quan Chi. Okay. Yeah, Scorpion cut his head off. Oh yeah, 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 that is right, that is right, that is right. Yeah. Scorpion cut his head off. <laughs> so that's how he died. He, you know, he was doing, he was chatting his spell. Yeah, yeah, he was. In, he yeah, 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 it's coming. Yeah, okay, it's coming back. Right, it's been, a, it's been a couple of years. And whatever that spell did, like revived Shinnok or gave Shinnok more power, it mm -hmm. did something. Or the, or the spell just continued. It, something happened. Yeah, something. I forgot. I can't, man. So was, that that game is. So I mean, of course, this, this is just speculation. Um, of course. Yeah. So we got Shao two. Kong. We got two scorpions, <laughs> and we got two Shao Kahn. So like, my whole thing is, is it two time zones of these different characters? Is it? two var variants of these different characters did they go the injustice route mm -hmm. you know or like with gear you know what what do they do is it a costume thing is it just a, like a cosmetics thing like you know how like tekken does it like you can just make your character 
or Soul Calibur, you can completely make your own character mm-hmm. in this game and it be, you know, whoever, mm-hmm. right? Or do these different costumes or different uh, equipment that you put on these characters, does it change their stats like it did in Injustice with that little RPG effect to it? But you you were saying that a lot of people didn't like that. Yeah, a lot of people didn't like that because usually what would happen is people would, of course, get into a match and then turn all the stats off. So I think since NRS knows that, they, they're they going ahead and just make... I've per, This is just my speculation, just me saying. I think the costumes are just cosmetic. And what they're personally doing is just um, for special moves... They, they're possibly going to give us special moves that we can pick and choose between. Because this is where we jump into the multiplayer aspect of the game. By having that type of uh, the difference between cosmetic and actual special moves, now players can mix and combine their special moves together and develop their own type of play styles. Instead of sticking to, say, like Sub-Zero has only a, def- like a, a defensive uh, style or... A or you like have to pick Red a master, yeah, yeah, the or, cryo master. Yeah, they ha- they all have a specific <laughs> style to them. Now, with having these uh, special moves that you can choose from, you can now basically make up your own full game plan with those varied special moves. How would that work though? Like, how do you know the limit of what you can equip your character with? Because now we're talking about because I mean, in injustice, you you can equip. All right, in injustice, if you just fight, right? Mm-hmm. What is the base of their character? Are they stripped of all those moves, or no? They still have their base set of moves. So there's a base set, yeah. Regardless, and you just add moves, yeah. Because you know, in Mortal Kombat X, there is no base character. There is no base. No, they, there they is do, no base they anyone. Do, they they do have a base, but I believe they have it's called variationless. So they do okay. have a base, but they just don't have special moves. Well, then that's not. What is that? I mean, that's, that's what is a character the, without no special moves? It's just a base character. You mean to tell me I, I, I can pick a scorpion and not be able to shoot a spear? I think you can still shoot a spear. That's that's still part of his base move. There's there's certain moves in certain characters in MKX that carries over. So like with uh, Sub Zero, Sub Zero in every single one of his variations, even in variations, he still has his icy slide. Okay, I got you. Yeah. So you still have their base, their base set of moves, and I, and I think this is. I um, never, I never picked the variation list characters. I, I picked it, and it was terrible because uh, there's. So do you think the game? <laughs> I mean, do do you think the very? So you believe the variations made the game last any longer or less? For. Wait, do you think the variations were a good idea? Uh, variations, yeah, it was it was a testing time. I think the variations let you play around with different styles, and that's why I was saying it kind it kind of carried over to Injustice because in Injustice, um, the longer you played it, the longer you unlocked certain equipment, you were given certain special moves, like new special moves. Right, but Mortal Kombat's not like that. You got to pick from the get go. Yeah, you got to pick. But the thing is, remember, with MK, MK is a test for Injustice. Injustice is a test for MK. That, that's how these games work. They work off of each other. Mm-hmm. So I think that's what they're really going to bring over to this one. Well, let me ask you, though. Would you rather have the character with, like, all his moves? Or a character dividing up into three other characters? Where he has this one move in this, and he has this move in this variation, and the third one he has a different move. Well, I would say I would want a character that has an option to choose between all of his special moves not mm-hmm. not not choose all of them to have a certain number say you, you're given like six and you can only take three into a match hmm. so you get to pick and choose which ones you want to bring into that match and say these are these are the three i've been really really practicing with i'm gonna go into the match I've, i have my game plan i know what i'm gonna do boom hmm. That would be interesting. Yeah, and I, and I think that... You just customize your moves to your character. Exactly. Ooh, man, that would make that game stupid deep. Exactly, and, it, and the thing is, longevity is something that we really complain about with... I don't know, but that is stupid deep, dog. That's, but that's deep. It's good deep. Because that's what you, that's what you want to make the game last instead of just lasting two years. I don't know. And certain certain people would like that. And the, to, you know, th- to think of it this way, what was Injustice Two? Injustice Two was trying to mimic 
an RPG is trying to usher, usher in this new type of fighter, like an RPG style. Yeah, fighter, that's so why I like the RPG, choose. the stats and everything. Yeah. I don't know. It might be you. You don't think that's giving players too many options? No, it, it's better to give the player the freedom to to choose his options than limit them to these options. Because sometimes you want to you have these set options and then you want to abandon a character. Now that you have you would have all these variations. Of course, that's speculation. You sometimes there might be some deep hidden tech in a character that you really just gotta lab up with these certain types of variations. Now, what about how they did it in um the what era would we call like the deception era when you can change mid fight? What do you think about that? Because mm. remember, you you could change from and what do you think about weapons? Because they used a lot of weapons. Yeah, they did use a lot of weapons. They That's... use a lot of weapons in this trailer. Yeah, we didn't touch. We didn't touch on that. Yeah. We didn't touch on that at all. They used a lot of weapons, and you remember in the older Mortal Kombat, you used they had like a weapon um, style that you can switch to. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember in Armageddon too. Armageddon had weapons as well too. Even Mortal Kombat Four had weapons. Yeah. That's when it first came about, which mm -hmm. was crazy to me. But, like, you could just switch to your weapon. So, I mean, what if that's a thing? What if they bring weapons back? How do you feel about that? I don't... That, for me, I don't personally like that. I don't like the fact of bringing weapons into it. Because that... It's almost like, um... Bringing interactables back in. Like, how much damage they, they're gonna do. That's, like, so much balancing. That's... Mm. It's just so much... So much in the game. Too much. Yeah. Especially, like, even with the whole... So you play MKX thing. without interactables, man. You're not able uh, to jump across, jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've, we've, I've turned interactables off, and of course, in in some maps, it's, it's in some maps, it's too much. It's, know. it's just too much. Sometimes you get stuck in the corner, um, if you don't have that option to to get out. But I don't think they need to be physically hitting. I think more so interactables that help you get out of tight situations. Maybe it costs like a little bit of stamina to get out and, and all that. I think that is fine, but any interactable or any weapon that does crazy amount of damage, nah. I would say well, keep, 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 keep that for a fun, like a fun mode. Pick up a zombie head, throw it at him, and it did like 25% yeah, health and everything crazy. like that. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy because they had that injustice and they had to tone that back. They had to tone that back so much. It, it, it did so much damage. People had certain uh, OTG setups, and it was it's crazy. It's crazy the amount of stuff that you got off of interactables. Hmm. So yeah, I would say tone tone down with those weapons. Don't don't. <laughs> I mean, keep them. In, you can keep them in. Keep them in the fun mode. But of course, I'm. I like to play Mortal Kombat very competitively. So don't put that in the competitive mode, please. Hey, please. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, oh, what what other what other things that did we see in that trailer or any anything that came up? That we well, talk I mean, about? I don't know. I think that might have been it because, like, so far, like I said, all the information we have is we have is that trailer. Mm -hmm. We have the uh, Amber Rose, <laughs> the Amber Rose, one. the Amber Rose, time controlling Chrono God, <laughs> and we have Raiden the Thunder God, and then you just got Scorpion, who's basically I mean, he's just a Mortal Kombat champion. And what we, what we, you know, what we know that for some reason there's two. And I believe that the one that Raiden fights is the post Armageddon mm -hmm. Scorpion. And the one that comes and kills Raiden is the before Armageddon. So that's what I believe is going on. And as far as the Shao Kahn thing, how you guys bring them back, well, you got Amber Rose. And Amber Rose can yeah. make anything happen. Yeah, since, since so, he said that, and then remembering that he had that Baraka style arm and everything, yeah. it was just like, yeah, okay, now I'm second guessing my my opinion. Might thinking thinking that he might be actually part of the story in the game. Yeah, we got a time manipulator, man. And like, where did Scorpion come from? Well, you know what? That's Scorp see, they use Scorpion because you don't know. Because Scorpion can teleport. We don't know if that was a time portal. 
or we don't know if that's just his way of just because he I mean, can when he you're can, when, when you're can, already warping you're kind of warping time space so i mean, I mean yeah. he could be traveling forward in time I mean, just, but okay that, we open up another thing <laughs> this ain't quantum physics what you what you doing <laughs> this is not quantum physics I'm just saying. <laughs> because that's what squad is he can teleport <laughs> he can and yeah, then teleportation yeah. is moving through time and space. That's a that's a <laughs> that's just Scorpion. That ain't got nothing to do with that lady. <laughs> I mean, this is true, but the thing is, so can that could uh, be a shadow clone for all we know. We don't know. So can Kung Lao. Kung Lao can teleport. Uh, his teleport. His teleport is weird. It's not. Yeah. I mean, it's a teleport still. But yeah, but like no quantum physics. Scorpion. <laughs> Sc Scorpion teleports through dimensions. Yeah, we does. know that he yeah, can yeah. like he can literally just take you to hell mm -hmm. physically. Like, hey, bro, you want, you want to take a trip in hell real quick? Like, he can do that. He can mm -hmm. just bring you to hell, bring you back mm -hmm. if you want to. That is some crazy. He's death. I don't even know why he don't just do that. Like, if I was Scorpion, if I hated somebody, I'm like, just hey, bro, come here, let me talk to you for a minute, touch him. He can instant transmission you to hell. That's what Scorpion can do. So we don't know but where that. But the thing is, is that hey, as far as we know, that Scorpion died. His his, <laughs> ven his vengeance because that happened. That happened. Yeah, yeah. That did happen. That happened in Mortal Kombat Nine. Mm -hmm. He Sub Zero. What? Then he killed. He killed Sub, Sub Zero. Zero. Yeah, yeah. He, he killed, killed Sub Zero. Sub -Zero. Mm -hmm. I think I seen in one like he died and instantly came back. Or did Quan Chi like instantly bring him back to life? Yes, yes, because when Sub Zero came and killed him, mm -hmm. well, no. Or did Quan Chi come and kill him and and, as, and portrayed himself as Sub Zero? Yeah, that's what it was. That's what right? it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. Quan Chi killed him with Sub Zero's face. Man, that's been hell long. And Jeez. brought him back to life, like that. Mm -hmm. So, Scorpion, he's weird. It's it's weird that they use that character because that's a character that we've seen die and come back to life in literally five seconds. Mm -hmm. So we don't know if he died. His spawn went to hell, mm -hmm. and like you know, he's a he's a pissed off spawn. That's all Scorpion is. He's a he's an angry ass. He's an angry ass ghost. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's all Scorpion. He's an angry ass ghost. All right, and you see, he has the ability to just come back to life. Mm -hmm. So that could have been just Scorpion, one hundred percent. Possibly, yeah. Possibly, because we've seen. I mean, we've seen that. We've seen Scorpion just die and just like I'm back, motherfucker. Like he 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 does that. He's like he's like a horror villain. He just comes back. That's what he does. Mm -hmm. We don't know how long Raiden sat there and stared at that dead Scorpion's body and probably, like, I don't know, either prayed or gloated over his body or something like that. But Scorpion, you know, I mean, he teleports, right? So, it, I mean, I, he dies. He just, like, fuck, I lost. Mm -hmm. Let me come back. Urgh, kill him. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know. That's, see, that's, yeah. That's why they, because if it was Sub-Zero, we, sub, we need to slow down. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm like, just saying. <laughs> only Scorpion can do that that we know of. Like, can just die and come back. And Scorpion's the only person I know in Mortal Kombat that dies and come back. Angrier. Scor yeah. Like, like Sc Scorpion has a Zenkai boost. <laughs> like, straight up. Scorpion has a Zenkai boost, bro. Like, he dies and he comes back. Like, Scorpion dies a lot. Mm -hmm. he I think does, he died. He didn't he die in MKX? No, he no, he didn't. He didn't. Okay, well, he died in the comic book. I ain't talking about die so, permanently. Like, did he like have like did he die? Nah, and come back? he never died. He, he didn't. Okay. So, so actually, who who do you think like as, they, as a DLC character is gonna be in this game? Who I think is DLC? Yeah, yeah. Fuck anybody, dude. Um, or like who who do you want? I mean, who I want you? I want Rain and Noob and Smoke. Like, Man, I want you I want. know they gonna be in the game. Hey. And please let it be the real smoke. I don't want no cyber smoke. Yeah, yeah cyber man. smoke. Did you, you like smoke? smoke? You like MK9 smoke? Of course. Okay, he was I cool. No, no, I, I like, I didn't like cool. MKX smoke. I didn't think a lot of people like. Oh, I, both of them. I want human smoke that human that smoke. that fight like tribord smoke. I mean, I'm I'm gonna be. I, I, I dig that. I'm gonna be Sub Zero whooping up on everybody. Yeah, so. You a Sub Zero man? Yeah. I thought you oh was like. Oh my goodness I gracious! Thought she was, I thought you was like a Kordo Khan dude or something like that. I play Kordo Khan. He's like my second, but Sub Zero is the main of the. There's oh, a yeah, reason why I never took out Sub Zero against majority of all of y'all because oh. it'd be over. There, there was, all right, man. Look, there was dude. one. Okay. Hold on, hold on. There was one time. <laughs> there was one time. Mr. Super M look, called look, me, called me we'll out, called my we'll, Sub Zero we'll, out, we'll and this. he received let's, that let's, out. Let's, he received that out. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. 
But the reason I, I believe it's genius that they use Scorpion because I mean, if you really dive into it, Scorpion could have did that by himself without any kind of like time manipulation because that's just what Scorpion is. He's a spawn. Mm -hmm. he, he dies. I mean, if you kill him, he can come back. Like that's just something that he can do because he's just he's. I mean, he's fueled off of vengeance. So I mean, that's what he does. You, I mean, how do you physically kill a spawn? Like he's a ghost. I mean, he's a zombie spawn, whatever. You, I mean, I don't think you can really just kill him off like that unless you use some kind of spell. Because uh, I, I think he's living off magic, right? Uh, unless uh, Shang Tsung come back, which um, uh, probably spoilers. No, well, it's not spoilers, but you can just take his power. But the thing is, of course, which movie is he going to take? That's true. Yeah. So you think Shang Tsung was the other Scorpion? Huh? Are you saying that Shang Tsung was the other Scorpion? Possibly. Probably not. Probably. <laughs> no what? Ain't nobody said nothing about really that, though. Nobody said nothing about it. <laughs> but the thing is, is that of course this is just speculation. Speculation. But Shang Tsung could have been that other Scorpion. No, he. No, it's no. possible. It is no. You don't ever know. He, they, they can release he a trailer. He bodies. They can He's, release. He a just trailer. takes powers. They can release a trailer tomorrow of him pulling that Raiden head back and walking away. You just see Raiden's head dangling. With a hand holding it, and then you just see like the particle effect of that scorpion changing in the same Shane song as he's walking away, nah, like laughing. I don't see that. I don't see that, that could that be happening. possible. I don't see that. That could happen. be a thing. Unless one of the new characters that they stated is gonna be in the game has that ability. Anybody could be in this game, dog. Yeah, anybody could be in this game. That's true. But you can bring back young Sonya, young Johnny Cage. But I don't think they're gonna do that. Because they maybe, they've maybe. been they've been the staple from from like the very beginning, and especially John especially Johnny Cage. Okay, but you He's, gonna keep all these villains? No, you kind of wanted. I mean, the villains it's kind of would sell. They kind of sell the game, <laughs> you know. Not, and not the heroes. Yeah, not. I mean, the heroes too. But the thing is, is that because the villains don't go nowhere. What villain? What villain had a kid? Um, kind of. Yeah, Scorp Scorpion had a kid, pretty much. That, that's about it. Okay, but is Scorpion's kid fighting in the game? Yeah. Who? Takedo uh, ain't his Takeda. kid. That ain't his oh, son. yeah, yeah, that's not his son. Yeah, that's, that's, I mean, that's like that's his a, adopted that, son. That's his adopted son, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that ain't like his son, son. son. I think. I think. Shiro Ryu for life, by the way. I mean, that, no, no, no. that's his. <laughs> I mean, that's. Yeah, this is a. This is stepson. <laughs> <laughs> that's all that is. But yeah, yeah, none of the yeah, none of the bad guys. No, had no kids. bad guys had kids. All the good guys had kids. Yeah, you like got, I said, you got a young Kung Lao Kung Jin. You got a young, you got a young Sonya. You got a young Jax now. Hmm. And young young Sonya is basically Striker. Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. She could have been Striker's daughter. For all we do, we that, hey, that, yeah, Cassie could have been anybody. Nah, Cassie, that was Striker. No. That was Striker. She couldn't be anybody else who's Striker. You know who I also want to see in this game? Um, Cabal, but I know he's probably not going to be in here. I, wanna, I, de Once. I definitely want to see Cabal, but the thing is, please limit the 50-50s. Even on a throw, don't make a throw of 50-50. Just don't. I don't want to be guessing during throws, too. That's, that's making me play rock, paper, scissors during the during the... The regular flow of the match and then have me play rock paper scissors during that throw that's just just too much that's too much that's way too much so just keep it keep it base um don't do nothing too i mean go crazy with it but don't go too crazy and that what i mean by too crazy is too crazy 50 50s. with every character <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i mean I pretty much got everything off my chest. Yeah, I pretty much got everything off my chest. So just about to ask you if there's anything you want to add. But if not, thank you for tuning in to another episode. <laughs> <laughs> this is an episode of a Combo Breakers podcast speculation video. Mm -hmm. that Raw first. One of our first. Raw first, man. Um, so if you guys got an idea about what you think is shown in the trailer or what do you think they're trying to do, what do you think that's going on, do you guys, are you guys feeling the Amber Rose Chrono God? Um, are you, what do you guys think about that other Scorpion? Who is that other Scorpion? Is it Shang Tsung? Is it Scorpion from the future? Is it Scorpion from the past? We got two Shao Kahn's now. We're trying to figure out what's going on with that. Why do we have two Shao Kahn's? Is that a variation? Is it a costume? Is it just cosmetics? Mm -hmm. Is it going to be a thing based on like special moves that you bring into the fight? 
let us know. Because mm-hmm. we don't. If you find any sources that's trustworthy, let us know. Drop us the info. You can catch us on Twitter, Facebook, uh, Comic Breakers, starting with a K, ending with a Z. Um, I think Twitter has two Zs. Why? Because we knock them out. <laughs> <laughs> shout, out to, shout out to the rest of the crew. <laughs> you can catch us on SoundCloud, uh, Stitcher, iTunes. SoundCloud, iTunes, and Google Play. We also have Facebook. Mm-hmm. We have an Instagram. We have Twitter with ah, two okay. Zs. <laughs> Just running through everything, making sure everybody got it. But anyway. Well, thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Combo Breakers. Yeah, there's only two of us. All right, y'all. Signing out, guys. Peace.